the first time I was able to read God's Word in the book of Jeremiah, a few months back, I read it out loud for the YouTube channel Family Bible Time. I'm beginning to read it again here. Now remember something that the Lord caused me to wonder the first time. It's very difficult to tell whether or not it's Jeremiah speaking or if it's God. Because the first time I read it, I considered the fact that Jeremiah was very soft and tender hearted. So he wrote the book of Lamentations. And as Moses was very meek, so was Jeremiah. So I guess I didn't try to pattern my speech after, you know, reading it a certain way. I, I just wondered, you know, and I let the Lord try to use my voice, or the Lord can use my voice. I, I try to yield myself to the Lord to have Him read it in such a way as He'd have me to read it. But there were a couple of things that the Lord brought to mind beside the fact of whether it was Jeremiah that was speaking or God, two things. First, as I just mentioned, Jeremiah was very meek, so you'd think he would read it or, or speak gently. God, you know, is his, in his wrath and is in his, in his you know, anger against the folks ignoring his word that he might have a very strong and powerful and, and scary voice. But then the Lord caused me to realize that that's, that's not right. The Lord doesn't have to talk angry in order for it to be true. He doesn't have to push the point. He can speak gently. When the Lord's voice is recorded, I mean, it's mentioned and, and described in the Bible. It's always quite often described as the voice of many waters. Water has a calming effect. That's why folks use like water kind of things to, to um, you know, listen to, to quiet their minds, to calm themselves, sit next to a babbling brook. The voice of many waters can be calming but it can also be terrifying. You think about hurricanes, tidal waves, tsunamis. I think about tsunami that occurred in Thailand in 2005. And I have footage that, for those of you on live stream, you can't see this, but Folks watching on YouTube can see this little scene. It's a sunny day. Now I'll add the sound and play it a little bit. I don't know how well it will record, but I'll get it started here. Shit, shit, shit. We're not hearing the sound of the tsunami, but the effects of the folks who, who were living while it was occurring. And once again, a sunny day. If you can hear the sound of the water, it's it's not a terrible sound. This part's very sad. There was just a couple of people that were trying to reach safety in a balcony here. And you know those folks died, and you see them swept away. But you can hear the rushing water there. I've just, within the last day, watched a, a video that I would recommend. It's called The Privileged Planet. John Rise Davies does the narration for that. You may remember 
Mr. Davies is doing uh, the character of the little dwarf warrior on the Lord of the Rings. He was also Sala on uh, um, Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark and um, also the um, the last movie of that series, well not the one in the last few years, but it mentions one of the first things that it uses as an example of of uh, the earth sustaining life one of the unique factors that our planet has is liquid water you remember when Solomon prayed in first Kings 8 one of the things he prayed is when heaven is shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned against thee if they pray toward this place and confess thy name and turn from their sin when thou afflictest them then hear thou from heaven and forgive the sins of thy servants and of thy people Israel that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon thy land which thou hast given to the people for an inheritance rain can be a blessing the water that's given from heaven same thing is mentioned in second chronicles 6 verse 26 when the heaven is shut up and there is no rain and goes on to speak the same in jeremiah chapter 2 is uh, is been read here for family bible time not only on youtube but also livestream.com it mentions more about water it says for my people have committed two evils they have forsaken me the fountain of living waters and hewed them out cisterns broken cisterns that can hold no water And here, and now, what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt, to drink the waters of Sihor? Or what hast thou to do in the way of Assyria, to drink the waters of the river? God's word is living water. It's interesting that it would men mention Egypt, as the false versions of the Bible were put together in Alexandria, Egypt. God is not pleased 